Hello again everybody, Mental Fox here. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Fallout 4. At the end of the last episode we cleared out the uh, Mass Pike Tunnel and then uh, ran over here and took care of some raiders just because I don't like raiders. And also while we were over here we ran into um, somebody unexpected. We ran into uh, dog meat and <laughs> we're supposed to be following dog meat for uh, this quest, this, uh, what's it called? The uh, Reunions quest. We're supposed to be following dog meat. Well, that's interesting. I thought we had other other things here. Um, I think this is one of the main quests of the game, and I don't really want to do that one right now. I want to try to knock out some of these other quests. Uh, so I think I'm going to pick one of these instead. But before I do that, um, I think I need to head back to uh, Sanctuary because um, I'm getting pretty full on my inventory and I know that Nick is already uh, carrying some stuff for us. So uh, let's head back to Sanctuary where I could manage my inventory. And also while we're there, uh, I want to talk to Preston Garvey because we failed this quest. Oh no, not this one. Which quest did we fail? Um, huh. I don't know where it is now. But, uh, that's weird. There was one that we failed, and we were supposed to talk to Preston about it, but, um, no, I'm not seeing it. What the heck is going on? Huh. Um, okay. That's, uh, that's strange. I, I um,. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do about that, but we'll talk to Preston anyway, so let me bring up my map, and we will travel back to... Now, and what does this mean here, anyway? It's telling me there's power armor here? Why does it just, like... It seems like it just randomly tells me this sometimes. Because I did leave power armor here at Sunshine Tidings Co-op, but I also have power armor here at Sanctuary, but it's not telling me there's any power armor there. And, um... I also have power armor at another location too, but I don't see it telling me about it. I'm not sure I understand that. Do I have any quests selected? I do not. So, yeah, I'm not I'm not real sure why it's that's showing up on the map. There's a lot of things I don't understand. I'm so confused. But let's bring up the map, and like I said, um, we'll travel back here to uh, Sanctuary. The higher the happiness of your workshop settlements, the more productive their settlers. Who cares? Why do I want productive settlers? What's in it for me? What do I get out of it? I do not know the answers to these questions. Okay, um... Where is Preston? He could just be around here. He likes to kind of hang out in this area. Or I could just go out here and uh, ring the bell, and he'll show up. He'll mosey on over here if I ring the bell. He should, anyway. Where are you, Preston? There's Preston. Let's go see if he has anything to say to us. What's up? A bit for you. Oh, he's got something a bit different for us. Found a promising spot for a new settlement. Okay. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Started Before taking. You know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. Okay. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. All right. Uh, so yeah, so we got a new quest from him. Uh, Outpost Zamonja, clear Outpost Zamonja. Minutemen scouts have found a promising site for a new settlement, but oh my gosh, it's overrun with hostiles. Preston has asked me to clear it out so a beacon can be set up to attract new settlers in need of a home. Where is it on the map? Weird. It's way up here. Huh. I'm surprised I've never been there before. Well, maybe we'll go do that. Maybe we will go do that, because it's been a while since we've cleared out a settlement. And apparently those things are timed. If you don't do them right away... Yeah, I know. If you don't clear them right away, they uh, they kind of disappear on you and then you fail them. And I, I don't like failing quests. It kind of bothers me. Oh, great. Now I got all these people here. All right, you guys can leave now. How do you like uh, Piper in her in her dress? Oh, there's uh, the uh, Vault Tech rep right there. 
All right, well, I'm going to uh, take a few minutes to manage my inventory, and then when I come back, we may uh, go to that outpost. Consider themselves a success until someone threatened their life. Okay, inventory taken care of. You can see here, I got my in inventory down to 93. Uh, but you see down here, I have four points to spend, so I think I'm going to spend a couple of those. And I think what I want to do is I want to get my armor up to rank 3, because there's a couple things that I want to do to my armor. Um, so I'm going to do that. And then I also want to get up to uh, Gun Nut rank 3, because there's some things that I want to do with that. So I'm pretty sure it's Gun Nut. Okay, so now that I've done that, uh, let's go over here to our workshop. And uh, I'm going to look at my um, armor, and these these things here, I've got them under lighter build. I think I want to go to deep pocketed instead. Uh, lighter build weighs 5.5, deep, deep, deep pocketed weighs 7.0, but I think the deep pockets will um, make up for the extra weight. So I'm going to do that. I see I only need rank 2 for that. I might not have needed to level up in my uh, uh, armor. For some reason I thought I needed to. Uh, so I'm going to do the same thing with this. Change from lighter build to uh, deep pocketed. I mean, I could go to ultra light, but... I don't know, should I do that? Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know what the difference is. I don't know how much... Well, then I could find out right now. Let's see. Let's see. Whoops. Uh, get out of here. Okay. So right now, my inventory is uh, 300, right? Um, and I think it was 290 before I did that. So deep pocketed gives me 10. Uh, whereas if I went to the ultra light build. If I go to ultralight build, then I'll go from 5.5 to 4.3, which is only a difference of 1.2. So I think deep pocketed is the way to go. So I'm going to do that to all of these uh, pieces of armor I'm wearing. So deep pocketed. And then I think I have one more. This one. Go to... Okay, I've already got deep pocketed on that one. Okay. Well, I didn't need to up to uh, the next level. Um, I mean, I could look at uh, my jumpsuit here. I have an insulated lining. I could go to treated or even resistant. I guess I could do that. It's a little heavier, but not that much heavier. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this just to make me feel better about going up to rank 3. Okay, there. Okay, so there's that. Now let's go over here to our weapons. And um, the sniper rifle. Don't, let's see, 58 damage. There, I could go to this uh, calibrated powerful receiver. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Yeah, and I thought there was another one here, the scope, that would help with, um, what was one? I was looking at one of them just a second ago. Was it the, the barrel? Oh, yeah. Um, did I go to one of these? So I got the long barrel, I could go to long light barrel. Is that worth it? Long, what is a ported? What does that do? Superior recoil range and sighted accuracy. Poor hip file accuracy. What the hip fire? That's fine. I'm not going to do any hip firing with my uh, sniper rifle. So, do I want to go to this? Yeah, let's go to this. I don't know. I'll try that. Uh, I could up the magazine. I don't really think I need to do that. Could do medium quick eject. Give me better reload speed. 
But I don't really find myself needing to do that. Um, yeah, but why not? Okay. Uh, I never use Righteous Authority. This thing here... I've got the most powerful thing on it. And I don't think there's anything else I'm going to be able to do that would really help. So we'll just stick with what we've got there. Alright, let's get out of here. So we made some some adjustments. Uh, let's see, my aid. I've got uh, Deathclaw Steaks. I've got Grilled Rad Roaches in here. I want to use up these Grilled Rad Roaches. Okay. Alright, all of that housekeeping stuff done. Uh, yeah, let's let's go ahead and do this one. Let's do this Outpost Zimanja. Why not? Let's look at it on the map. It's up here. I'm surprised we haven't been there before. And maybe maybe I have been there. I'm not sure. So let's go to Ten Pines Bluff and make our way up there. And um, this will I'm going to guess this is probably going to be pretty easy since it's so far north. And supposedly the further south you are, the tougher the enemies. And this is as north as you could get, so this really shouldn't be too much trouble, right? Let's get out some weapon. Okay, here we go. Alright, Nick, you ready to go do a little bit of uh, exploring? So, let's see. Can I see it from here? Doesn't look like I can. And, well, what's this down here? This isn't it, is it? Way down here? Rad Stag Doe. That's only level four. What's going on down here? It's the only thing. Oh, there's a couple of these does here. Hmm. What if I could go down here without killing myself? I wonder if Nick will follow me down here. Have I been here before? I, I guess I haven't, have I? Do I need to even need to shoot these doe? I don't know, we'll see if they attack me. No, they're just gonna run away. Get behind it if you can. What? Oh Nick, what are you doing, man? You do what you gotta do, Nick. <laughs> Good grief. What do you th gosh, Nick, I can't believe you. I wasn't gonna shoot those. Huh. Picture frame, handcuffs. I'll take those for the... Collection or something? Yeah, I'm building a collection. Um... Good lord, aren't you done yet, Nick? Jeez. Now, where where are they? These poor creatures that you killed, where are they? Wish there was some way I could search for stuff. For carcasses. Because he killed these things. At least I think he did. And now I can't even find them. Yeah, they don't show up on vats, that's for sure. Well, geez, Nick, what'd you do with them? Disintegrate them? I wanted to see if I could climb up this tree. Oh. Eh. Maybe not. Oh, fine, Nick. You killed those things for nothing. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Legendary Deathclaw? Are you kidding me? Um, I don't even know where the hell I'm going. I'm just going away. Oh, crap. Oh, I'm, oh. I can't fight a Legendary Deathclaw. Can't fight a normal Deathclaw. Save. Um... I mean, I could draw him back here to my settlement and see if my settlers will help with the fight. Nick is... No, yeah, Nick's still shooting. Oh, man. He has taken out Nick. Oh, now he's going to go take me out. Oh, crap. Uh, what should I crit on him? I don't know how to crit. I'm pressing space. Why, not, why am I not critting? I don't understand crit. Oh, 
off, and of course he mutated. Are you gonna run away, Deathclaw? Uh, it's okay with me if you run away! Ouch, that hurt a lot. Where'd my settlement go? So much for drawing him back to my settlement. Oh! Oh, jeez. Jeez, oh, Pete's. Um. Um. Oh, look, he picked me up. Oh, he grabbed my scrotum or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Man, why do they have to mutate? Holy cow, look at that thing. Okay, um. Where the hell is my settlement? It's over here. And I, don't, I mean, I guess my set, settle, settlers might help, or at the very least, act as a deterrent or a distraction. He's just gonna mutate. Oh, missed him. Oh, he's coming for me now. Oh, oh, he's coming. He mutated. Oh, oh man! Is there anything I could do here? Oh, <laughs> run back! I don't even know if I. Oh, okay. So I've got some settlers over here shooting from the guard tower. That's kind of cool, right? Uh, oh, here it comes. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him! Aw, oh, come on, damn it! Well, shoot. I'm not really sure what the best way is to try to take this guy on. I tried to crit him, but apparently I don't know how to do that. I thought you just hit space, but um, that didn't seem to work. And I hate to waste my crit if he's just gonna mutate. Can I hit him in the, in the leg? I'd like to cripple him so he can't even run anymore. Okay, he mutated. Ah. Uh, now, how, how do I crit? I thought I hit space to crit. I don't understand. Um... jump can't he okay if I if I stim pack him maybe he'll distract him oh damn it oh oh great oh that's what I need some some little piss ant thing bothering me now um let's uh change my aid here to um what the hell? What's all this stuff I got? Did I pick... I guess I picked it up. I don't remember picking it up. Oh! Let's run over to my settlement and see if these people will help me at all. Shoot him with your pipe rifle. Where is he? There he is. Uh... Oh, man. Oh, he's probably just going to come right up here, isn't he? Uh, he's behind the trees. Where are you going, Deathclaw? Basically sacrificing my, um, settlers. How come I can't crit? I don't understand. Man, I'd really like to cripple him. Well, we might get this guy. I'm surprised my settlers are still alive. They're doing a real good job. Oh, hang in there, Nick. Alright, got him. Wow, thanks, settlers. You guys were great. Blood bug hatchling too. What's up? I just need to trade gear with you. Of course. Oh no, really, I, I don't. I was just I was just saying hi. Damn it. 
Uh, wounding walking cane. That's what this legendary death claw had. All right, hand, meat, a fork. Wounding walking cane. Targets bleed for 25 points of additional damage. All right. Okay, well, I took it. Thanks for your help, guys. Gosh, you guys were great. You guys were fantastic. Save.